Hey guys, I'm Yash. Today I will show you how to use container view. Uh, container view can save you a lot of space, a lot of time and also code. Uh, using container view, you can create your own navigation bar controller and uh, tab bar controllers and much more. So let's get started. Create a new Xcode project. Single view application. Name it container. Okay. Con container hit next save it wherever you like and okay so under main dot storyboard we will first uh, drag and drop our container view here it is so and okay so first of all this is what we get along with the container view it's uh, one more view controller uh, as we resize this UI view, uh, this also gets bigger and smaller accordingly. So let's keep it, uh, let's say 130 points. So here we have it. So uh, what I will do is, uh, I will drag and drop two buttons over here. Which, uh, okay, <laughs> it will be button. We need two over here and uh, one over here. Okay. So this will be presenting view controller to VC2, okay. And we also need, okay, we'll drag and drop labels later. So let's just put it here and say home and make it bigger. And let's say background, background, here we have it. Guys, I'm not messing around with uh, constraints and all that stuff. I hope you know that and uh, you will do it accordingly. So anyways, let's uh, run our app and see what we get. Okay. So the iPhone is loading. Okay. So here we have it. This is our container view and uh, this are the buttons. Uh, right now it, uh, buttons are of no use, but we will bring them to use uh, later. So yeah, it's working. So let's get another view controller in the picture so that you get main purpose of having container view. So let's get a view controller. Where is it? It's here. It's first option. So we don't need a specific file for it right now. But just let's say VC2 will present this view controller and uh, we will drag and drop one more container. Container view over here. Uh, and just, uh, you will get uh, same kind of this stuff over here. I think uh, it's here where it is. Okay, it's here. So what we do is uh, we will just delete this one and uh, click on this container view and set it to 130 height. So now just control drag it over here and it will be embedded. Okay, so hit embed. So this both view controller will show the same container. Okay, so let's uh, just make this VC2 thing a little bit bigger. Let's say 25, 20, yeah, 25 points and uh, control drag and say show. Okay, let's put in some labels. Uh, again bigger I like bigger so here we have it uh, and this will be our VC1 and uh, let's duplicate it for VC2 and here it is okay so okay let's uh, run it and check it out so what uh, this container view does is uh, you can use one container view code on several view controllers so that you don't have to code the whole stuff again. So let's hit VC2 and here it is. We still have the same view uh, container view. So let's just add some functionality to this our home button and background button. Home button will uh, bring us back to our uh, root view controller and background will change background color of the current view controller. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, uh, as you can see, this view controller requires a UI view controller file. So let's just create a new file, which will be subclass of UI view controller. And it will be, let's name it container. 
Kante, this, can, this is messy. Okay, anyways, doesn't matter. Hit next, create, and here we have it. Let's get rid, rid of this boilerplate code. Okay, we have it. Mm. Yeah, done. So I'll just click on our main dot storyboard so that you jump into this. Well, let's say assistant editor. Now we will drag and drop home button. Uh, okay, we forgot to assign. So click on this yellow thing and say container and hit enter. So now we have it. Let's drag and drop home here. It will be home pressed. And don't forget to select action. Type UI button, hit connect. And let's again drag and drop background over here, which will be, okay. Oh, come on, man. Background pressed. Uh, doing this background thing is a bit trickier, but uh, we'll get back to that later. So, so we are done with uh, connecting stuff. So hop over to container and let's first program our home button. So it will, it's really simple. It's just dismiss and animated will be true and completion handler will be nil. So let's uh, run and see if it works. Okay, app is running. So we are currently at home, which is our VC1. So it won't work on this uh, view controller, but let's hop over to VC2 and press home. And here we have it. This is our VC1. So home button is working. So let's program our background. Uh, it's a bit trickier. So play along. If top VC, uh, what I am doing uh, uh, right now is is I'm fetching our current view controller okay so it will be top VC is equal to UI application come on come on come on help me oh come on okay something is wrong uh, okay if top VC is equal to UI what's the matter okay we need to write let the top VC is equal to UI application dot shared dot uh, what was that key window yes a question mark dot mm, uh, top view controller let's present that view controller okay guys uh, so problem is over here we need to add if over here and it will be a variable and in the end it's not present it's dot root view controller open brackets hit enter while present view controller is equal to top view controller top vc dot presented view controller open brackets now just assign top vc is equal to present vc present vc no this way yeah i think this should work okay it will be while let we need to assign a constant to it so this should work now hit command b to build okay so now we have top controller top view controller in our variable top vc so we'll just check if top vc dot view dot background color is equal equal to ui color dot white then we will change it to top vc dot view dot background color is equal to ui color dot uh, let's say red okay else it's simple it will be again top vc dot view dot background color is equal to ui color dot white okay so guys we have coded a uh, code for uh, background button so let's try it out hit uh, play and uh, the app is running so first time we press background it won't work i don't know why i think it's because uh, initially 
uh, background color is not set to white or something but still uh, next time you click it works so here we have it now let's jump to VC2 again it works on uh, view controller 2 so this is amazing we did not have to code this whole thing again for view controller 2 and just imagine you have an app of size like say 10 view controllers so it will save you a lot of time and it's a great amazing feature you can add it to your application thank you guys keep watching